Now the National Hajj Commission, NARCON, says no fewer than 50,000 intending pilgrims will be performing this year's Hajj. The chairman of NARCON made this known during a press briefing at the Hajj House in Abuja. Herbert Ajayi tells us more. Preparation for this year's Hajj has been faced with challenges such as inconsistency in the price tag, demand for extra money from intending pilgrims due to the exchange rates, which jacked the fear to 6.8 from the initial 4.9 million that was announced in February. Low turnout by Nigerian, not meeting the allocated seat, has demands for refund of deposited funds by intending pilgrims who could not afford the balance after the increase was effected. The now chairman who affirmed that the commission has learned its lessons described this year's Hajj as one of the most challenging. But it's something that as a pillar, we all aspire uh, to perform. But like I said, Alhamdulillah, we're almost there. We are happy to announce to you that as of today, Nigerian pilgrims will perform the Hajj. And you are talking about numbers of 50,000 and above. Nobody thought we could achieve that. Meanwhile, the Commission has ordered all states to start uploading the visas of intending pilgrims, noting that activities would be unfolding in line with Saudi Arabia's instruction. The hosts which is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, came out with a timeline that you have to work with and within. If you recall, and of course I won't underrate the much assistance you give in disseminating that information. He enjoined faithfuls to integrate the arch saving schemes to avert this year's shortfall in order to meet up with the Saudis Timeline. Habibat Ajayi, Trust TV News, Abuja.